Well, hello friends, neighbors, welcome down to the Whiskey Nook, and welcome to Cousin Brad who's with us, because this is going to be our St. Patrick's Day celebration, and when we come back, we are going to take a look together, both Brad and I have a bottle of Jameson Black Barrel. So, you know, we'll, we'll nose it, we'll taste it, we'll uh, share whatever thoughts come to our mind on this uh, quite classic Irish blended whiskey. I have been a wild rover for many a year. I spent all me money on whiskey and beer. But now I'm returning with gold in great store. And I never will play the wild rover no more. And it's no name. Thanks for staying with me and thanks for being here, Brad. <laughs> it's uh, it's a real treat to have you on the channel. Um, thanks, Sean. Glad you could make it. Glad we could find some time. Yeah. And this, I thought, I thought it'd be kind of fun because, of course, it's fun to get together. But um, I've been looking forward to to talking a bit about Black Barrel. I had it like maybe a year and a half ago. A little sample. That was it. Mm -hmm. And you know, you get a sample and you're kind of like, oh, that's nice. Right. But now with a bottle. The pores can be a little richer, and maybe the thoughts can be too. <laughs> now, you have a bottle, but is this your first taste of Black Barrel? This is my first taste of Black Barrel. Oh, right yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. So just uh, opened very recently. You were digging into it, though. You were finding out some of the information on the bottle. Uh, do you remember some of that stuff you were finding? Um, uh, just what I was mentioning, the, uh, the it's... It's a high percentage of uh, pot still with some uh, blended grain, with a smaller amount of blended grain uh, relative to the regular Jameson. Um, the other th uh, interesting part about it is that it has been uh, re-barreled in, in a darker charred barrel, I believe. Yeah. Another ex-bourbon. Yeah. So it's got some extra char... No, I couldn't find uh, casking. what the extra char was. Like I, I, I found what you did too, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It's blend, so there's single pot yeah. still and and uh, and some grain whiskey in there, uh, yeah. but higher, more higher pot still percentage. Still only right. forty percent, but of course, black yeah. barrel is that recharred ex bourbon that it puts it in. They put it back in. Right. For how long? I'm not sure. Other than that, uh, I think it's uh, it's the the regular Jameson with that extra finish. I think. Well, no, no, extra finish and more pot still. That's just like we've been saying. Great. Cool. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk whiskey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where I, we don't usually shoot together, and, and there, there's definitely going to be a bit of suggestion, right? I'll say something, and you'll probably get that, and you'll say something, and I'll probably get that, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see uh, what sticks. <laughs> yeah. For me, the... The, the you know the the fruitiness of this dram actually comes out quick on the nose more than you think black barrel I'm thinking oh smoke and char but I actually get right. quite a quite an expressive fruit character what what are you getting on the nose yeah I would uh, I would say I, I'm getting a little bit of dried fruit okay yeah, yeah. Uh, and then along with a little bit of honey like I, I was nosing this earlier and I was Maybe some of that uh, honey malt or, or cereal. Yeah. Um, but and then I was getting a bit of a dried fruit uh, I, on the nose. I could go with either of those. Yeah, maybe like a apricot or something. I was gonna say that the fruit's quite sweet, almost a sweet honeydew melon. Like like uh, it is very oh, sweet yeah. on the nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but but a nice nose for me, anyways. Yeah. Like it, oh, yeah. it uh, it's inviting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, let's have let's have a sip. So, so much for bread. Cheers! Cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day, John. <laughs> That's right. It's our St. Patrick's Day episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, may the road rise to meet you, and the wind always be at your back. <laughs> Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, I like that palette quite a bit. Mm. It's a, it's a for me um, like a like a full more juicy fruits for me again. But mm. now I do get a little bit of that that oak in there that mm. I, I'm assuming is from that extra char, um, right. and that really brings a nice balance to what sometimes Irish whiskey for me can be 
a little sweet. In fact, I've even said this out loud, it kind of reminds me sometimes of sweet Canadian whiskey. Irish is very light, very easy drinking, you know, triple distilled. But here, I appreciate that they've brought back a little more oak edge to it than I get on a mm. typical Irish. What are you getting in the palate? Well, I think, yeah, I get I get a bit of that, that char, um, which then brings out that, yeah, that wood and... Uh, and a bit of a spice. Mm. Yeah. Now, do you find this spice, for me, this spice is really more a peppering and less a cinnamoning that I get in like a lot of bourbons. I get a really a lot of cinnamon red heart type spice. Whereas right. here, I find it just kind of light peppery, kind of perks up in the mouth more. What do you get for mm -hmm. spice? Yeah, um, I don't know if I get pepper so much. I get uh, maybe a nutmeg. It's not quite mm. that cinnamony cinnamon but yeah i could see that yeah, some, something like a nutmeg yeah um i'm just trying to think of the fruit that i'm getting oh on the palate yeah but it's yeah. an interesting uh like f sorry john i'm it's not a it's not a distinct fruit that's that's getting me on the palate okay. but there's definitely f fruit yeah, I don't know. Um, boy, chasing down a distinct fruit. Um, for me, what distinguishes the palate from the nose is a little bit of that oak and and spice. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. Maybe nutmeg or whatever, but really that's, that, that's a layer that I don't get so much in the nose that comes across in the palate. Uh, for yeah, me, yeah. The, the finish is a little light. Um, it's not sticking around for days and days kind of thing, mm. but, uh, but it's pleasant. It doesn't finish sour or astringent or... Um, yeah, and it's balanced too, not too dry yeah. on the finish either. So that's, yeah, yeah. that's nice. It is very it's, nice. It's a good bottle. Yeah. <laughs> As I commonly do here, I tend to give a kind of a rating on this and, uh, and then I'll pour it against a, an Irish that I have that I've given ratings mm -hmm. to. Now the last couple of Irish I did, uh, were these, um, and they rated pretty strongly. This one, um, I would say, uh, you know, lacks some kind of hit it out of the park uniqueness, mm. right? Uh, the hide that I did earlier had quite, quite a bit of sherry to it. That was interesting. Uh, and the Kilbagan has those creamy oats in it, which really creates a creamy mouthfeel. Mm. But now this one, I think what's distinguishing it is that oak that we talked about. Mm. And I like oak. And so, mm -hmm. so this is a, a really nice bottle for me. Now, what's going to probably, like, how do I compare it? I don't know. It might be my favorite of these yet. And it's the most affordable of the Irish that I've looked at this season. So, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's over four stars. It's four and a little bit more, whatever that is. Uh -huh. It's just yeah. a little bit more. Because I ended up giving them all four, which wasn't my intent when I started this <laughs> series. Right? But if I were to rank them right now, I would say I'm liking the Jameson Black Barrel the best. Mm. It would be one that I would go to and really enjoy. Then I'd go mm -hmm. kill Bagan, and then I'd do the Hyde. But they all had a unique take on the Irish. Right. Um, you know, you're not usually doing stars and reviews and whatnot, but what are, what are your kind of summing thoughts on the Black Barrel? Yeah, it's... Um, I think it's... Uh, yeah, probably just that 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 I like the uh, the fruitiness on the nose. Yeah. Uh, the uh, definite. I think the palate is uh, is quite complex. Like I think. Um, yeah. I think I'll just. It it will become even more enjoyable than it is right now. Yeah. Um, but you, I think I would agree the the wood, and the and that bit of spicing going on there, it. Uh, it makes it very interesting and and pleasant and. And uh, the finish is, I think it's a, it's a well uh, put together uh, product. Like for the finish, finish is very nice. And uh, yeah, no, no bitterness or in the finish or, yeah. very nice. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely an excellent one to have on the shelf. I think if you're mm. looking for an Irish for, for St. Patrick's Day, this would be a good one to quickly buy. <laughs> <laughs> just going to give a quick 
comparison thoughts to what ended up being my Irish of the year last year. This is uh, Writer's Tears, um, and they're double oak. Now, this is sourced, uh, but they, um, they, they, it's in uh, bourbon, and like ex-bourbon barrels, and then I think uh, French cognac. Yeah, so they finished it in French cognac. I didn't get a sample out to you there, Brad, but I'm just going to quickly nose her back and forth. Yeah, interesting that, you know, you're talking about the fruiting in the black barrel mm. that you like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I definitely get it on the black barrel, but when you when you look at this writer's tears with that cognac barrel, it really has fruits. Mm. Just a, like almost a, yeah, a pineapple mango, not quite, it's just not that rich, but there's more going there. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The palate of this black barrel stands up. It really <laughs> does. It's got a little more structure. Mmm. Yep. You said nutmeg. I'll go with that. For me, it's still just a little spiciness, almost like a black pepper. But, um, but uh, that spiciness and that oak, maybe maybe edges that one off off the podium. We'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> I should have sent you a sample, Brad. That's terribly rude as a guest to bring you no, on and no, then drink something else in front of you. <laughs> no, that's totally fine. I've got a good one here, so. Yeah, this black barrel is a keeper, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, very nice to have. Fair to say we both like this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, mm. and really glad you could join me for uh, just for some thoughts. And uh, we'll probably sign off with our viewers and maybe continue on just you and I. Uh, so to everyone who joined us, I hope you guys are having a fantastic St. Patrick's Day. Um, it's it's a, a good excuse to celebrate uh, like this through through Zoom or however you can uh, with friends and family, and uh, and also to do it safely because you're doing it from your own own house. You don't have to hit the roads, uh, so that's some pretty good advice for St. Patrick's Day. Anyways, you guys just thanks for joining that's us. That's a good idea. <laughs> thanks, Brad. <laughs> you guys have a great week. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and it's no new day. Never.